Welcome to Houston Real Estate Radio. I'm your host, Shanna Register, and every week we bring you news and information you can use on your next real estate transaction. But I will tell you, real estate goes deep. It runs into a lot of aspects of your life, but I'll tell you what, your government runs even deeper. And if you're not involved in government, you know what? Government is involved in your life, whether you want it or not. It is there. It is part of everything you do every day. It's not just about paying taxes. They regulate everything from the pillow you put your head on at night uh, to your you know your water that's coming into your house in the morning when you take a shower it's you are so heavily government regulated and you know we have in this country such a great opportunity to vote um, for the people who represent us and so this show today we're talking to some elected officials we're talking about some of the the things that are out there that are causing concern for homeowners for people who own um, properties for people who own businesses. We're talking about some of the things going on and some of the uh, legislative decisions that are going to be coming up. So this segment, I'm talking with Kay Smith, and um, Kay Smith is running for the state uh, representative district 130. Um, currently, Alan Fletcher is in that seat. Um, Kay is running, and she's uh, she's worked and served the community for over 20 years. You've probably heard of her. She's a conservative, lots of traditional family values. So I'm going to let her tell you about why she's running. She's got just a uh, ton of uh, information out there are things she's been doing over the years. She's involved in a lot of organizations, including veteran uh, organizations, a lot of great things that Kay Smith has been doing. And Kay, I think you've got a website already up and ready for people to take a look at it. Is it electksmith.org? Yes, it is. Right. Electksmith.com. Dot com. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So tell us why you're running for this seat. This is exciting. I'm running because I know that I'm the best person to represent this community. And the reason why I know that is because I've been representing this community for over 20 years. I'm out there with the community, in touch with the community. I talk to them on a regular basis. I know what their concerns are because their concerns are my concerns. And they're I'm already a, calling you with those it, concerns. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I'm a part of this community. Mm-hmm. So I. what affects them, it's the same way it affects me. What are the boundaries for the 130 district? What area is that? The southern boundary is 1960. Okay. Uh, you have a western boundary going straight up Highway 290. Mm-hmm. Ronald Reagan Highway, and then the other boundary goes from Jones Road up to 249, and then it just kind of mushrooms out. It, it, so it goes from Cypress all the way up into Tomball. Okay. And we have a lot of Cypress area listeners. Yes. You know, um, Houston's such a big area. We have so many great state representatives. They do such a great job in Austin. And so, you know, it, and it's funny because you know, I've talked with Debbie Riddle before and they make like, I think $7,000 a year. So certainly not money motivated. <laughs> $600 a month. Yeah, <laughs> You can't even uh, pay for a hotel room for the whole month in Austin. So I know that you are motivated by a lot of other things and you have a deep care for the community what are some of the things that are your concern uh, some of the things that have gotten you motivated to run well one of the things that really concerns me is that there is a threat to do away with the points that our state representatives have to affect one way or the other on low-income housing and mm-hmm. low-income housing affects us all yeah. and so um, if our state representatives decide that they don't want to represent their constituents anymore mm-hmm. and they vote the same way the Senate did in the 83rd legislative session then they will give up their points and then and there will be no one there representing there will be no one having your voice and representing you in that extraterritorial jurisdiction because we know that in Cyprus and in Tomball we are not in the city of Houston mm-hmm. and we can't vote for the mayor and we can't vote for the city council but everything they do affects us in the extraterritorial jurisdiction so when low-income housing is coming to to your area and you want to fight it you have just a couple of options you either have to uh either use your state representative Mm -hmm. to uh, write a letter which goes towards the point system or um, do something to try to stop that permitting is that right yes right now 
as it stands because of the Senate giving up their points, your state representative is the only person in the entire state of Texas that has negative points. That means if they write a letter of support, they're going to add points to the developer. If they stay neutral, it's zero points. If they write a letter of opposition, it will subtract points. And those points, when they're subtractive, can make the difference between a developer being funded and not being funded. So that's one way. I think this is very important because I hear people say a lot of times, you know, me calling my con- my uh, representative or me writing a letter to my representative isn't going to do any good. But if you get enough people who do that, it can make a huge impact on the community. So, you know, just for those of you at home, you know, think about this. You know, you're thinking, well, my letter won't mean anything. Well, with your letter put together, with your neighbor's letter put together, with your other neighbor's letter, you know, know, all of you writing this letter, it has a huge impact because now it pushes your representative to do something. And that will positively or negatively impact you having uh, low-income housing come in next door to you. Absolutely. And and a shout out to Cypress Coalition because they did that this year. Mm-hmm. Um, we formed Cypress Coalition and we kept the uh, people in that area informed about the low income housing that was proposed to come into our area. And they called. They wrote emails. Uh, they sent letters mm-hmm. to their state representatives, and our state representatives listened. This year, our state representatives listened and wrote letters of opposition for all of these developments. So we were successful in defeating them this year because we got our voices heard by our state representatives, and they listened to us. So now you you really believe in protecting private property rights, which I think is very yes. is very important. I mean, as a realtor, I feel like that's really important. What are some of the things that you see out there that are um, looking to do harm to private property rights right now? Well, you have the AFFH, and I have to say this slowly, Affordable Fair affordably furthering fair housing, which is the newest initiative by the Obama administration, where it's not just these large apartment complexes that they're building all throughout the suburbs right now. They are If we have someone taking the money that the Obama administration is offering as an incentive to do the AFFH program, Mm -hmm. then they can come into our subdivisions, not outside at the entrance, but directly into our subdivision. They can buy up lots Mm -hmm. and build uh, Section 8 houses on that. They can come in and take over a house that's being foreclosed on. And right now, I know that they're doing some uh, some phone calling into the Texas area because Texas is being targeted. Yeah. We've got lots of land here. Mm-hmm. And so they want to be able to, to buy up that land as much as they can. And if you have a Section 8 house coming into your subdivision, then what happens to your homeowners association? And you can't stop it. You, you can't. You can't stop it. Once they buy the land, it's theirs to do with what they want. And not only can you not stop it from happening, but once it happens, the person who's in that house, they do not uh, owe property taxes mm-hmm. like you do. They do not have to abide by the HOA regulations right. like you do. Uh, it's really, it's really going to be a mess. It's going to be a nightmare for homeowners. It really is. I and mean, you're going to, you could have a. a a half million dollar property, you know, with a, an eighty thousand dollar house built next door, or you could have a million dollar house that's been taken over by the federal government and turned into a, a low income housing or or um, multiple housing. You know, yes. put multiple families in that house. Yes, yes. Yeah. So it will definitely affect the property values. It will definitely affect your homeowners association. But here's the catch, and this is something that people don't talk about, and I want to make your listeners very aware of this, because we ask our coalition to write letters, to send emails and phone calls. But the one thing you cannot do is talk about your property value, right? because the government doesn't care about your property value. Right. You cannot talk about your family's safety and security, because as an individual, you're not what's important to the federal government. Mm -hmm. The only thing you can talk about is what is best for the greater good of the whole. Mm -hmm. And so you have to talk about things like your schools, how it affects your school system, how the overcrowding does affect the quality of education that each of the students are getting, because we do have an overcrowding problem in our Mm -hmm. school systems. You have to talk about the infrastructure of your emergency services and how it will be overburdened by the development of these different complexes. Those are the things you have to focus on, because if you focus on your personal property values or your personal security, Mm 
then you are called a racist. Wow. Yeah. All right, Kay Smith, she's running uh, in District 130, and the primary starts, uh, when is the primary start? You can, mid-February, you can start Mid-February. voting, right? Okay. Mid-February. Primary starts March 1st? Yes. Is that right? Okay. All right, so keep her in mind. If you're in her district, you already know her, know a lot about her, but if you'd like to find out more, you can go online, give us the website one more time. ElectKSmith.com. ElectKSmith.com. It just, I love your name. So catchy. K Smith. So easy to remember. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, we appreciate you coming on the show. Great information for our listeners because they have to know how to get involved in their government. Thank you for having me on today. All right. Appreciate it. We'll be right back here on Houston Real Estate Radio. If you missed any of today's show, you can go online to HoustonRealEstateRadio.com. RREA Media has an exciting new product available to companies and organizations who are teaching classes and want to offer those classes online. Introducing Easy Distance Learning. Easy Distance Learning is a video-based distance learning system that allows companies and organizations to leverage their existing classroom content into a broader reach and increased revenues. Did you know that the rate of growth of distance learning is 10 times that of classroom education? And 66% of chief academic officers think distance learning is critical to their long-term strategy. Right now, 33% of higher education students are taking at least one online class. Companies and organizations not offering a distance alternative to in-class instruction risk being left behind. Video-based distance learning has three basic components. Classroom capture, post-production, and content distribution. Easy Distance Learning is a comprehensive and modular system that covers all three components that can help your organization with what you are missing in offering a quality and convenient online learning experience. You choose the parts you need help with. Easy Distance Learning offers another revenue stream a broader reach of your existing content, and a professional presentation with a great learner experience. Contact us today for a free estimate and see how easy distance learning can take your company or organization to the next level.